So about 40% of all trauma deaths across the world are due to blood loss. About 1.5 million people a year lose their lives due to blood loss. It's been an age old problem. And of course with the military, it's a key problem for any combat scenario or even training scenario. Now there's all kinds of ways to stop blood flow, but none of them are as effective as people would like them to be. Not as quick, not as stable, um, sometimes could cause contamination. There's all kinds of factors that go into giving people blood, stopping bleeding, anytime blood gets involved. So we're here today to talk with a company that's created a new product that's been cleared by the FDA that could help solve that age old problem. So hey Joe, can you tell us a little about what you guys are doing over there and um, a little bit about how that might help, help military members? Of course, thank you for having me. Uh, so Cressalon was founded by me 14 years ago when I was a college student and I came across this blend of polymers, so effectively long chains of sugar that come from algae uh, that I realized would stick to skin and wouldn't let go until I wanted it to. Uh, so we had this idea, which was being able to use a product like this to stop massive hemorrhage. Right? And so that's exactly what we've done 14 years later is trauma gel is indicated for external use for moderate to severe hemorrhage. And so uh, where you would use a, a typical hemostatic device, so massive bleeding like gunshot wounds, uh, like arterial bleeds, uh, venous bleeds, uh, where you can use this product without needing to wound pack. Uh, to create a mechanical barrier on contact and get that bleeding stopped quickly and effectively. Well, if you could walk us through it, I mean, what exactly are you seeing? Are you basically, you have like a solve you're putting on by hand? Do you have special tools? Do you inject this? What exactly is happening if someone on a first responder sees somebody with some pretty massive bleeding or even superficial bleeding and wants to use trauma gel? Sure. So trauma gel is a 30 milliliter pre-filled syringe. So all you do is you open the pouch, you take the syringe out, uncap the syringe, and inside it is a beige gel. So it's about the consistency of hummus. Uh, and so the, the, the New Yorker and me will, will always use food-based analogies. Uh, but what you would do is squirt this product into the bleeding wound or onto the bleeding wound. Uh, and as soon as it gets on contact, those polymers in the gel snap together. They create a mechanical barrier against even strong lethal bleeding and allow that patient to produce their own clot. And so once that clot is done, you can then remove the product and, and you leave only the patient's clot behind. That's amazing. And you mentioned algae. I love like when nature gets involved here. So like, uh, did algae have some kind of property that does something like this in nature? Or is it like a whole new novel application of something that this particular type of algae does? So algae has been used in various biomedical applications over the years, but the way that we're applying it uh, is completely novel. Uh, and so it's something that as, as a young kid, I was really interested in chemistry and my parents wanted me to work in an area that was safe and, the, and they assumed plant-based chemistry was safe. So that was my area of focus when I was 17 years old, when I started this. And now over the last 14 years, the product that we've developed uh, has uh, been refined and turned into the highly efficacious technology that, that we have today. And so have you been in, in contact with or are already sold or contracted yet to uh, fire departments, police departments, even, even military units? Um, are you able to discuss any, any of those um, interactions? So at, at this point, we're just gearing up for launch. And, and so Trauma Gel is getting ready. Uh, we intend to be out there in the market saving lives by the end of this year, uh, but it's still early days for us. Now, for our audience, obviously, Military Times, Defense News, a uh, very uh, focused area, um, very concerned about this as, as part of, uh, of safety and a product like this could, could maybe help them. Um, you're talking to a combat medic or a group of combat medics um, who might be taking trauma gel out with them to a training event or even deploying with overseas. What is this doing for them that they don't currently have the ability to do? Or what does this add to their abilities already to do? Sure. So trauma gel is about saving time, first and foremost. Uh, trauma gel reduces the need to pack an injury. So if you have a deep injury wh where the patient is bleeding, uh, you're packing gauze or, or, or other products into that injury, which is painful for the casualty. It can expose the medic to shards of bone, to grenade fragments uh, or other shrapnel uh, that, that can expose your body fluids to the patients or vice versa. Uh, and so that process is almost entirely eliminated with trauma gel because trauma gel is the first flowable hemostatic indicated for traumatic bleeding, meaning it can be deployed through a syringe uh, and very easily put in place, especially in complicated wounds. Secondly, uh, it allows very efficacious control of even the strongest bleeds. Uh, and, and so even in the face of strong, severe, life-threatening bleeding, 
Uh, trauma gel will stay where it needs to stay. Uh, it allows uh, for a much higher likelihood of control of, of, of hemorrhage. Uh, and then finally, when that patient does get to the next level of care, the clot that is formed by trauma gel does not become incorporated within the gel itself. So if you have a gauze, the clot is inside of the gauze. If you peel that gauze off or if you medevac that patient, uh, the vibrations from a helicopter or from transport can shear open that clot, causing re-bleeding and, uh, and cause negative effects to that patient. With trauma gel, because you can remove the gel without disturbing the clot, it's much easier to remove uh, and it delivers a less or lower level of re-bleeding 